My name is Dan Engelman. I'm a cardiac surgeon from Bay State Medical Center in Springfield, Massachusetts. Uh, this is Ed Boyle, another cardiac surgeon from Oregon. And uh, we are going to represent uh, ERAS, which is the Enhanced Recovery After Surgery, uh, the cardiac surgical division of that. And we're sort of going to use this session as a uh, large sort of um, cloud level introduction to what ERAS is and uh, sort of give you a sense of where we're heading and um, then get more granular as we go. We're going to start at the highest levels, then get more detailed, and then we're having another session on Tuesday where we're actually going to get into specific uh, ERAS protocols and consensus documents. So it's sort of going to uh, start high up and then get more specific. I'd encourage uh, anyone who wants to to uh, jump right in uh, and just stand right at that middle mic and uh, ask questions at any time. We'd like this to be an open forum uh, discussion. If you think we're crazy, feel free to stand up and tell us so, uh, because that's sort of the uh, environment that keeps people awake and keeps us um, thinking. And there are no stupid questions, and there are uh, clearly, um, the worst thing we could do is have an unengaged audience. So I absolutely would engage, uh, encourage everybody to stand up. So without further ado, I'm going to look for the uh, clicker. For next slide, let's see, is that this right button? Yes. The left button on the mouse advances. Left button on the mouse, thank you. Uh, special thanks to our sponsors. We have a very unique um, engagement here at the AATS where uh, we have our own uh, sponsors separate from the AATS that are very specific to uh, enhanced recovery and we really could not uh, work throughout the year on the uh, stuff we've been doing without their support and uh, we have lots of plans going forward and we very much appreciate their support and we will have uh, two breaks uh, where we can go uh, and sort of co-mingle and network out um, with the sponsors and I would also encourage everyone to stick around till five o'clock because we have a nice selection of craft beers and wines we're going to um, drink and eat with them at five o'clock and that is also uh, going to be a nice little uh, break at the end of this uh, long day. So my disclosures, uh, I am a consultant for those uh, three particular companies. Um, what is enhanced recovery after surgery, ERAS? So if you asked me that uh, about three years ago, I would say I had absolutely no idea. And two years ago, I would say it's rectal surgeons and not for us. And what it really is, is a research-based approach using selected pre-, intra-, and post-operative interventions in concert to optimize outcomes and the patient experience. So ERAS programs have been a standard practice in Europe for many years and have consisted of up to 21 and even growing uh, different components, which we'll go over sort of at a broad level. These enhanced recovery programs have demonstrated significant reductions in length of stay, blood loss, time to ambulation, complications, and increases in patient satisfaction around pain, which are all obviously very important to cardiac surgeons and cardiac surgical teams. They're being used by uh, at least 95% of surgical patients who undergo general surgery in the United Kingdom. So it's a big deal in the UK, and it's gradually growing uh, in this country. ERAS specialty societies exist in all of these areas general surgery, colorectal, that's sort of where it started. Now there's trauma, ENT, optho. And then about 14 months ago, a group of us cardiac surgeons noted there was no cardiac surgical ERAS specialty society, which is really what got us started. And uh, all of this uh, really was um, just started uh, in an attempt to uh, basically collate best practices and start our own little um, organization. We didn't have any idea it would kind of grow this quick and this big. Um, our mission was our first statement was we, our first uh, a job was to come up with a mission statement and we decided our mission statement would be to optimize the perioperative care of cardiac surgical patients through collaborative discovery, analysis, expert consensus, and dissemination of best practice. We decided we needed some financial support, not to pay us, but to allow us to uh, meet and to do literature searches and to uh, put on meetings. Uh, and hence, we took in supporters, but we um, told these uh, supporters that their support of our society does not re represent any agreement to promote any of their devices, uh, pharmaceuticals, or technologies, and we stick with that. 
These are just basic high-level components of any ERES uh, program, which have pre-op, intraoperative, and post-operative components. There's the malnutrition screen preoperatively. There's some carbohydrates uh, loaded in some pro in some areas, uh, fluid uh, volume assessments, and multimodal analgesia optimization preoperatively. There's intraoperative goal-directed therapy, avoidance of excess tubes, lines, and drains, and nausea and vomiting prophylaxis. And then there's a whole bunch of postoperative pieces. Early nutrition, mobilization, goal-directed therapy, multimodal analgesia, and post-op nausea and vomiting treatment. We're going to go through a bunch of these in gradually more and more detail as the uh, day progresses and then even more so on Tuesday. This was our first little meeting we had a year ago. We decided we'd have a preliminary meeting uh, in Boston where we got together some uh, select experts, mostly cardiac surgeons. We brought in some critical care docs and we sat around in a little room and we said, is this something that's useful? And about 50 people showed up and said, absolutely, you guys need to keep working on this. Uh, and so we spent the rest of this last year collecting a bunch of other docs and it's really a, uh, it's a team effort. Everybody contributes and we have since uh, joined up and this is our present board of directors. Uh, and then we merged with uh, an international society, ERAS International, uh, as their official sole cardiac surgical subspecialty society. So now we represent them on a global level. Uh, and we also now have the uh, distinct privilege of being able to propose which hospitals should be appointed ERAS centers of excellence in cardiac surgery, which has not been done yet, but will be happening. And this is just ERAS Centers of Excellence for General Surgery. You can see there's a bunch in Europe, um, a couple, two, only two in North America. So we would try to mimic that for cardiac surgery going forward. But these are sort of long range plans. Where do we go from here? Six of us are traveling to the um, Global World Congress in uh, three weeks or so, uh, where we're presenting our uh, work to, uh, in Stockholm and trying to bring on more uh, European collaboration. We're also presenting at the American Society for Enhanced Recovery, European societies, uh, and we're uh, growing rapidly and trying to share best practice. We're not trying to be the only experts. We're trying to work with other groups. We'd like to uh, collaborate. Anybody in this room who's interested in joining our efforts, we welcome. We will have in the back of the room little sign-up cards. We encourage everybody who's at all interested in this to please fill them out. Put your name, your address, your email, and we'll put you on a listserv and get you involved because this is an inclusive group and not an exclusive. We want help. We realize we don't have the answers. We're looking for best practice. Uh, I have the honor of actually uh, being the son of a cardiac surgeon. That's my father, uh, Richard Engelman, across the uh, way from me. Um, the highlight was not when we were operating together, but rather when we uh, showed up on a billboard next to each other. That was pretty much the, that was the peak of our careers. Um, and what's interesting is he actually invented years ago uh, fast track recovery um, from cardiac surgery. And that's what's just so strange is that this is sort of a fast track uh, 2.0. It's uh, just a pure coincidence that he happened to invent that and now I'm taking over uh, enhanced recovery. But it is a nice segue to what was done many, many years ago and it kind of fell off the, uh, the radar. Everybody was talking about fast tracking and then as a cardiac surgeon I can tell you people kind of stopped doing that. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to introduce him and he's going to uh, talk a little about uh, fast track. Thank you. <laughs> 